Donnie Darko was such a success. Does that add pressure to you for this one, or? You know, there's always pressure. I mean, this is an I'm an. It's an honor to get to be able to make films for a living, and I, I have nothing to complain about, and I'm lucky to get to do this, and I'm just grateful that I got the opportunity to make this film, and I'm grateful that I'm getting the opportunity to make a third one, and uh, I couldn't be happier. You know, with Richard, Richard was very specific with what he wanted for the movie, uh, the actors he wanted in the movie. Um, I sat with Richard for about four hours, the very first meeting. Pitched me the story, uh, had great renditions of all the characters and what they were supposed to look like, and I love Richard and his passion, and um, it was great, and I enjoyed the process. I gladly work with him again. I got a call from my agent, said he wanted to meet me, so I went to his office. So I said, where's Richard? And this young, handsome man come to me, I was waiting, I said, where's the director? He said, I am the director. I said, wow. Just for that reason, I worked with him. It's like, he looked like a movie star and very intelligent. I think he's from another world. And uh, he portrayed, gave me this opportunity, portrayed beautiful, sexy, like a kind of, um, how do you say, infinite character. And she has her own aura. You know, it's the modern day Greta Garbo. You know, it's beautiful. Not only is he incredibly gifted, he walks that really wonderful fine line between brilliance and insanity. And he's not afraid to go and do stuff that's different. He doesn't have to fit into a neat box. And he's not afraid to take chances. And that's, that's something to admire. But I think this film is going to be extremely controversial. And it's the kind of film, I will take this off now, um, that makes you think about our times. And it feels, when you walk out of this film, it's the way that life feels a lot of the time in Los Angeles with the war. And it's where pornography meets celebrity meets politics. So, It's an epic about the whole world and the different forces fighting for control of it. But... Um, in an unrational style. It's in the style of a dream or surrealist painting or something of that nature.